Imagine yourself being able to retire forever by age 47 and never worry about money again. What a real problem, huh? Well, that was Oscar Wong's life two decades ago. I had an engineering business that specialized in nuclear waste processing, and um, we sold out. I was fortunate. I sold out. I retired, quote, retired. So here's Oscar, the young retiree, who says golf is not his thing. He did read a lot of books, but that was not a long-term strategy either. I've determined that waking up in the morning and having many things to do, recognizing that you really won't get them all done, is healthy. Oscar lasted two years before taking all that retirement money and sinking it into beer. Not drinking it, making it. My wife convinced me to quit for a couple of years, which I did. And then I ended up uh, being introduced to an award-winning brewer who wanted to start a brewery. The brewery became Asheville's Highland Brewing Company, and it was a financial risk. Oscar says the operation didn't break even the first eight years. And those are years that he says didn't bother him too much. They were fun. I enjoyed it. It didn't matter. My wife was a wreck. But we, she stuck with me. We're still married 42 years now. And Oscar's Highland Brewing Company's right there continues growing as a regional microbrewer. His team is very idealistic about the ales they make, brew it, and they believe the customers will keep coming. After all, beer is for the people. And so having a company with good people and good quality brew just extends that uh, out into the marketplace, too. And uh, we've been successful in doing that. Jerry Sigmund is a longtime beer distributor who's now consulting with Highland Brewing. Our total sales in, in Western North Carolina is about 100,000 cases. This is a 5 million case market the, where, where, where we're currently located. That's a little piece so of the So we are a tiny, tiny slice of a very large pie. And that's really the perspective of the entire craft industry. It represents less than 3% of the state's total business. The Highland Brewing team believes it can keep growing long term without ever expanding its sales territory beyond the southeastern United States. We want to be the brewery of choice in the southeast with a high quality, um, good products and, um, and the people working here, enjoying working here and making a good living. What kind of culture are you trying to develop here at Island Brewing? Uh, it's an appreciation for what it takes to brew, number one. Number two, the fun that they can, uh, when they achieve, there's something tangible. You can spend some time and when you're done, you have something that you enjoy and your friends say, my goodness, this is great. It builds you up like nothing else. We get all this malted grain in from Wisconsin right now. Oscar's built a corporate climate at Highland Brewing where employees can submit their own brewing recipes for experimental batches of beer and they can also speak candidly on the job and critique the products. We're a little bit too democratic in here. Everybody gets a piece into the action. I do make the final decision, but I like everybody to get a chance to say their piece because it's surprising sometimes uh, from what direction you get a piece of uh, suggestion that really makes sense. A recurring conversation or suggestion that keeps going around Highland Brewing is that the business not get too large or too stuffy. And the fear is always, oh, they've gone corporate, which has been used on Highland. Like with the rock bands, they sell out. Yeah, right. kind of exactly. You'd be a sellout if you right. got to. Yeah. So the idea is we don't want to get to the point where we're considered so large that we're corporate. They use that term. And I'm saying, wait a minute. I'm risking my retirement on this little <laughs> fledgling thing, and you, we're corporate? This is the lightest beer we make. Where do you see this brewing company going the next 15, 20 years? Um, I'm way past retirement myself and have been collecting Social Security for a couple years, so you're asking a very hard question. Huh. That's too far in the future for me. <laughs> so in the meantime, expect Oscar to keep working, yet stop at times to grab a brew. He'll sit back and run a brewery. <laughs> <laughs>